want to look at today are international time zones and Australian time zones. Now, the first part here, I've just got some information that you can read yourselves. What I wanted to look at is some examples and run you through how we do it. Now, most some of you might actually already get this and may not even need to watch the video. So, Habib is flying from New York, USA to Istanbul, Turkey to visit his grandfather. New York is five hours behind uh, Universal Coordinated Time, so which is Greenwich Meridian. So, New York is over here then. And it's five hours behind. And then he's going to Turkey. And here is Turkey, and Turkey is two hours ahead. So the first thing I need is I need that time difference. And then you can see five hours behind and two hours ahead. So all together, the time difference must be seven hours. Now this minus sign, I've just put it here to remind you that it's behind. But the actual distance is a five and a two, which is seven hours. So the question is, in Turkey, he wants it to be 6 p.m. in Turkey when he makes his phone call in New York. So New York from Turkey is altogether seven hours behind because we're going in that westerly direction. So the New York time that we're interested in then has to be 6 p.m. Take away seven hours. So that means it must be 11 a.m. in New York. So for part B then, Habib boards a, boards a plane at 1.45 New York time and the trip lasts eight and a half hours. What is the local time in Istanbul when he arrives? So the way, well, there's two ways of thinking about this. What I could do is I could just simply do the arrival time in New York time. So if we think about it, he gets on a plane at 1.45 p.m. And the trip is eight hours and five minutes. So if we add on eight hours and five minutes, what you would get on your calculator is 10, 15 p.m. So that's New York time. And so we need to now convert that into Istanbul time. Now we know from New York, then going in this direction, we're going to be adding on time. So it's 10.15 p.m. and we're going to add on seven hours. So if we add on seven hours, it makes it 5.15 a.m. the next day. Because if you think about it at 10 p.m. at 10.15, if we add on two hours, it just becomes 1.15 a.m. 12.15, sorry, 10, 11, 12, 12.15, which is the next day already. And then we're adding on other bits of time. So you need to be very aware of whether we are adding on to another day or going into another day or not. The other thing is I think you need to know about are the Australian time zones. So in Australian time zones, we have three. We have Eastern Standard Time, which is what we have here. And this is the whole eastern side of the seaboard. We have Central Standard Time, which strangely enough is the centre of Australia. And we have Western Standard Time, which is the western part of Australia. Okay, and we can see time zones can be shown on a um, timeline. If I consider the Western Australian time being zero, there's another hour and a half to, say, Adelaide. And then it's two hours to Sydney. So that's the time differences in Australia. So if I think about a couple of questions to do with that, Gemma is in Perth and it's 11.50 a.m. She wants to ring her mother in Sydney. What is the time in Sydney? Well, if we go back and have a look at it, it's two hours further ahead in Sydney. So that must be 11.30, add on two hours, which gives us 1.30 p.m. Gemma has just finished work 5 p.m. in Sydney. What is the time in Adelaide? Well, if we think back to it, the difference here is half an hour. Half an hour, and we're going in this direction, so we're going to be subtracting time. So if we take 5 p.m. and we subtract half an hour, that's got to be 4.30 p.m. in Adelaide. Now, to throw a spanner in the works, we well, have this horrible thing called daylight saving. Um, I like to think of daylight saving as spring, 
the clocks go forward, so you spring forward. And using the American term for autumn, fall, because you fall back. So in the uh, autumn, the clocks go back. Now, the other thing that is a slight worry is that Queensland does not do daylight saving time. Neither does the Northern Territory. So we need to kind of think about that as well when we're considering our time zones, although I've not really seen this come up in the HSC. Okay, so one last example. Courtney in Melbourne wants to chat on the internet with her cousin Kate in Vancouver, Canada. Uh, Canadian Pacific Standard Time is eight hours behind universal uh, coordinator time, so we need to drop our time zone here. So here is zero. So Can Canadian Pacific Standard Time is eight hours behind, while we know Melbourne is 10 hours ahead. Okay, so this is Vancouver in Canada. Um, daylight saving is in operation in Canada. So that's something to consider. When should Courtney log on to reach Kate at 4 p.m. Friday night in Vancouver? So let's have a look at how we do it. So what we need, first of all, is that time difference. And then what we know about our time difference, differ again. Um, is it's eight hours here and ten hours here so we know we would normally have um, 18 hours but what happens is spring forward the clocks have gone forward in Vancouver one hour so if there's normally eight hours by being uh, on daylight saving time this must come down to a seven hour difference so altogether we have 17 hour time difference. So if we need to think about Janice Ree Kate on 4 p.m. for the Melbourne time, Melbourne time, so for, when Courtney should reach out to Kate at 4 p.m. Friday night in Vancouver, so it's 4 p.m. in Vancouver and we need to know what that Melbourne time is going to be so if we think about Melbourne going in this direction and we know this distance here is 17 hours now we're going to have to add on 17 hours so if we add 4 p.m. our Friday night so let's just consider that Friday adding in 17 hours well adding on 12 hours would have to make it the next day and then adding on the rest. So this works out to be 9 whoops, a.m. Saturday time. So thinking about it, 4 p.m., adding on 12 hours would make it 4 a.m. And then on the Saturday, and then we had off to add on the rest of the numbers, and then we get to 9 a.m. All right, a lot of work to do, a little bit of thinking. Uh, don't think you're going to have any problems, but you know, if you do, you know what to do.